All right, we're gonna do this thing this time. Drop it like it's hot. Drop. That's right. Let's do it. We're gonna drop it like it's hot over this next team we're facing. We're gonna drop it through the rim. That's right. Just wait. The time's coming. This might take a while, but it's coming. You haven't seen me play in power forward? You're gonna see it soon, son. But I'm gonna be small forward, and I'm gonna freaking drop the rock right through all of you stupid players. Here I come. Here I freaking come! It's time. It is my time. To be on Denver Nuggets. Win the NBA championships with the Nuggets. After I won it with the Warriors. Let's do it. Yeah! Everybody on your feet! Nobody sitting in their seat on the side of me! Yo, Denver Nuggets! And center for North Carolina State, number seven, Jay J. Dixon! You seen that already? It's time for some hoops at Pepsi Center, home of the Nuggets. Put me in the game. Welcome to what should be a great Saturday night for the NBA. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Let's go. You're in. Dang, about time. That's right. For Charlotte, they've gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight, setting the four for the Hornets. Come on, stop him right now. Don't make him let that. Oh, yes, he missed. All right, good stuff. Go, 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 Ty Lawson. Going in, going in, going in. Come on, come on, let's go. A little nice pick. Oh, oh, JJ Hickson with it. Ty Lawson got it. To go with the easy layup, he does. And there is our mascot, baby. Kevin, here we can get a look at Charlotte and what kind of numbers they've put up these last 10 games. Third in opponent field goal percentage. Fourth in three-point field goal percentage. You know, they also show up in the top five in opponent scoring. That's a good number, and that's a good place to be as a team in that statistical category. I'm most impressed with their defense, Clark. You talked about the opponent's field goal percentage. That stat is so impressive. But what they try to do is take... Nice. Go, 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 go that by attacking the passing lanes pressuring the ball as much as possible and then trying to block oh the god ball. dang it ah. Williams against Hickson Williams passes to Walker Williams a screen on Lawson Stevenson outside five on the clock here's Jefferson gets the four uh. of the ball Jefferson's got seven points in the game. 129 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Lawson. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Pass to Money. Back to Lawson. And so Dang it, man. I can't pass. Every time I try to pass, it's freaking deflected. Let's check out the best. Fifth on the list, the Hornets season for them from behind the arc they've got some great shooters on that team here's what Denver's going with right now there we go in bounces baby for Farid Randy Foy he's checked in for Aaron Aflalo Robinson is subbed in for Ty Lawson 58 seconds left in the first quarter here's Henderson and Jefferson wide open he shoots Drops it in from 11 feet. Jefferson's got nine points. Now, very solid offensive execution out there. Now four, averaging nine points per contest. Passes it to Money. To the middle, here's Mozgov. Yeah! No challenge from the defense there. Boom! Any way he wanted. And I love the choice there, partner. Going hard to the hoop for that throwdown. Yeah, that's invisible defense leading to a very visible finish. 
Seven second difference, shot and game clock. There's the feed to Neal. Soft. Dang it. What a start to this game. The offense is both dominated. Tell you what, feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense, just keep firing. Robinson for three. No luck. Actually, I had a C plus this time. Oh my god, I can't believe it. And coming up next Monday night, February second, Al Jefferson and the Charlotte Hornets take on John Wall and the Washington Wizards. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Here we go again. Oh yes, freaking salt shake him, baby. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go. Tune swap here on the floor. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Cody Zeller's checked in for Jefferson. Williams comes in for Biamba. And Stevenson's checked in for Gary Neal. And it's Kemba Walker in for Brian Rogers. Austin at point with a follow. They're the back. Kenneth Fareed is out there with money. And it's Hickson in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group on the floor for Denver. It's not very often you can say this about the future is looking pretty bright and sharp. So often the season ends and you're thinking about the issues you've got to deal with, but right now the Hornets headed in a good direction. Henderson kicks to Stevenson. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Henderson, no good. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Was in the pass to money. Back to Lawson. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hickson. Here's money. And lots of that help. Right Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And for Charlotte. I gotta work on my free throws. With their direction, but also nice and made it. After the way the last few years are doing. You know, having a direction is that one though. Dang. I got a point this game. Oh yes about who they were going to be and they did it for the last decade or so now it seems as though that the base is solid and they've got an idea of how they want to build and who they want to build around and they've got a group that can grow together walker against watson they grabbed their own miss and i shot by zeller zeller's got six points ah. shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort he's really starting to turn it on now guys Lawson outside, dishes it to a follow. To the wing on the left. Man, I did freaking crap. And he buries that. There we go. The rim on the way down. He's got 14. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And Walker kicks to Williams. He hits Henderson on the wing. Zeller inside. Picks and cover. Shot by Zeller. No good. Denver's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. Wants in the pass to Money. Fires from... Man, I was trying to do a move. Here's Hickson. And he finishes... I was trying to freaking, I think, cross it over based on what I put in the stick, but it went with the shot. He just battles for every rebound. Ugh. Hate that. Here is Stevenson. He's coming off a 25 point game against San Antonio. I thought his rebounding was impressive as well. Dang. Really helped out on the glass, helped his team out big time. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Well, guys, I'm here with Al Jefferson and Al. Okay, guys, we got a few minutes here. Let's go over a few things before we get going again. Let me say this first. I'm really pleased with how many open looks we've created. We've hit a lot of shots because we found a lot of high percentage looks. That can't change. We were able to make an impact with our low post offense. Let's continue to exploit those good mismatches in the paint.
One thing I want to see from us offensively is to get to the basket. I want to see high-quality looks in the second half and be aggressive in taking the ball inside. We know we can take their best punches and hang with them. Now it's time to hit them with everything we got and see how they handle it. All right. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. All right. Really an extraordinary game. Substitution here for Denver. Mozgov, he's checked in for Hickson. Alinari comes in for Fareed. Randy Foy, he's checked in for Aaron Aflone. And Nate Robinson is subbed in for Ty Lawson. The Hornets also changing it up. Yambo, he's checked in for Cody Zeller. Gary Neal comes in for Williams. And Brian Roberts subbed in for Walker. On the court for the Hornets, Jefferson is out there with Bismack Biambo. Then it's Gary Neal. Then there's Brian Roberts. And it's Stevenson in at the small forward position. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it. The Nuggets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. All right, I'm back in. Moscow, All right, let's do this. One, a shot blocker and rebounder. Still pretty foul prone defensively, but he has really become an interior presence. Money's checked in for Wilson Chandler. Gerald Henderson, he's checked in for the Hornets. And it's there we go. Good shot. And Mozgo offensively can get you some nice second chance buckets. All right, let's see what you girls got. And he just knocked down the three pointer on occasion. So uh, nice combination for that big guy. Shots good by. Oh wow. You gotta love the big all right, all right. Sort of Give me this ball. Physical. I'm gonna knock it one down. That was your game, Clark. Pound it inside <laughs> and take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. Outside Robinson. Mozgov passes to. Ah. It's stolen by Jefferson. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Neil. Blocked. The Nuggets pushing it up now. What the frick? Dude, shoot it, you idiot. Man, I was holding him freaking right stick and he went and shoot it. Come on. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like uh, they scored at will. Not much defense. But they oh, my God. The defense on its heels early the entire game and actually nearly the entire game and no matter what unit was out there looked like a mismatch to me outside Robinson and there's the pass to money and it's gonna be two free throws drew contact on the shot and we'll take a look here at a very skilled bunch of point guards at the strike Look at the numbers they put up. Man, I cannot make a free throw. Well, if these guys can get to the line, there's not much question what the outcome Wow, dude. Really? from being as aggressive as they'd like to be against them. That's exactly right. I mean, you'd rather dare them to make a shot than risk sending them to the strike. That's almost free points for them. At least there's a chance they'll miss from the floor. And here's four. Lock at six. Shoots from the baseline. Can't get it to go. And it's the Hornets taking it. Yeah, just hold the freaking ball and they missed it anyways. Now the last meeting was, was a successful one. They were very sharp defensively, causing a lot of turnovers. And that swayed the game in their favor. The Nuggets trail by six. Robinson dishes to Gallinari. Pass to Money. Robinson left side. They need this one. And there's Gallinari. There we go. Good the shot. Gallinari's got his first bucket in this one. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plus Yeah, our mascot to be, son. Well, this is what you talk about when you have the offensive play coming. Substitutions. 
Denver wow, shooting. really? Not bad. And this is what they wanted, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. And I think it can be considered a, a statement win for the Hornets. You're right, Steve, and they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, quite for them uh, throughout this game. No opportunity really to coast, although the score may appear that they did. I love the way they came together whenever things started to look bleak. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. Well, they're going to win again. Same result uh, as the previous matchup between these two players. And it's the last time they meet this year, so that'll make it a sweep of the season series. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Kemba Walker. Every time there was a big possession or big play, he was contributing in some manner. Just a great game for him. Money in its small forward. Mozgov is out there with Gallinari. Then there's Foy, and it's Robinson. In it the I had to get it myself because they weren't passing to me. Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Here's Roberts. Ah, uh, B minus. So no well, went up a little bit, I guess. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Kevin Fett. Still poor. Screw you. <laughs> The coach says about this. Anything really? Uh, what a jerk. Look at that call, man, up in the right corner, upper right corner there. Ah, they're not talking about me, though. They're talking about Chris. <laughs> 